You guys are not going to believe what I decided to spend my summer doing. As if I was not busy enough already. Um, saw a bunch of old vehicles back home and one of them in particular is a pretty interesting one. So we're gonna try to pull one from a grave. We'll see how it goes. It's gonna be a pretty busy summer. It's gonna take a lot of work. Should be a good time considering I know hardly anything about cars, but uh, we'll show you what it is. So here we go. We have a 1959 El Camino. Unbelievable. Had to pull it out from the the dirt. I got some pretty bad uh, pretty bad rusting and pitting in the back of this thing. As you can tell, the underside's pretty worn out. It's right up my alley. Spent the first few days just trying to get everything to open right so finally got the tailgate to drop naturally the first thing i did was put new tires on it just because i want to do this right you know put them in an engine that won't even run right now come here louis let's go here's the interior three on the tree crazy how old this car is and how it's got rust on it but I'm surprised the body held up this well outside Let's see if we can get under the hood here anytime you open anything rust seems to fall so it's either a 283 or a 327 v8 I'm not real sure. I tried looking at the serial numbers on it, the stamps, but I can't figure it out. Any advice is greatly appreciated. Uh, I'm not really sure what we're going to do. Right now the motor won't turn. So I'm going to try to get the, uh, the old lighting chutes opened up and pour down some marble oil and wait a few days and see if we can get her to start turning at least before I put a bunch of time into the motor. So. Any advice is appreciated. Louis, let's go. Come on. I think he wants to see inside. You coming up here? Come on. Just to give you an idea how long this thing's been sitting. This is some of the stuff I found in the interior. So I think he bought it in 74. I don't know if it's been driven much since then. neat dash on them we'll see how it goes it's gonna be a hell of a project but I think we're dedicated enough to it take a lot of time any help you guys can give me I think bit off quite a bit with this one so we'll see we'll do our best to try to bring this sucker out of the graveyard and get it back on the road for us so gonna make a whole series about it. it'll be our first series of a project I'm hoping to have quite a bit of it done by the end of the summer so we can show it so part one let's get this thing kicked off all right we're gonna try to uh, break loose the engine here so as I'd shown in my previous one earlier it's stuck I can't I can't get that to turn at all and it feels like there's supposed to be a bolt in there. But there's not. So I don't know if that's something that isn't supposed to be there or is. I'm trying to get a shot of it. I don't know what it feels like there's not a bolt down there. I guess I'll see when I check the video. But uh, the plan is pull all the spark plugs 
and label these so I know which ones came out of which cylinder. Spark plug can tell a lot of story. Bought an engine. Good news is it does have oil and really doesn't look too bad. So I don't know if he changed the oil in it when he traded for it and they just no one wanted to tear into it to get sure dead carburetor issues or whatever. Also, if you could help me out, figure out what type of carburetor this is. Again, don't know. I'm assuming it's like a Rochester carb, but I'm not sure. And then it looks like it has the linkages here. Just greased those last night. So, any info is appreciated, guys. Um, we're gonna tear into this. I'll start marking plugs and pulling them, and we'll see if we can get some stuff funneled down into there. And break her loose in a few days so Alright, we're going to see if we can get the other side uh, lubricated up and the same thing. Dripping a little down below here it looks like, so it's got to be a good sign. 
that's what we got going. Wish me luck. <laughs>